Welcome to the Available Post podcast, the podcast where I speak into the void and hope someone listens. I'm your host, Callum. Let's get into things. And uh, yeah, last month we had a we had the fun bonanza. We had the post unavailable podcast extravagance, where I, I myself, and other people helped collaborate to make a bunch of April first beautiful videos. Uh, I'd like to thank all those people, thank those people, right now. They don't want to be said on what their names are or anything, so that's that's the way it's going to be. Uh, so I'm not going to say their names because they they don't want to they don't want to be outed. I can be outed. It's my podcast. I don't really care, but they're not going to be outed. Uh, we I've I've actually changed my podcast video now it looks nice it's clean it's beautiful it's got a little tiny text that's properly written not handwritten it's got a fun little comp- uh, tv and uh yeah and if you don't know and you haven't listened to my other videos uh where i constantly and forever complain about how my house is under construction and all of my stuff like like i have to keep on moving my stuff every day i can't make videos very often uh i'm still doing hump day horror and obviously hump day horror and magic mondays are coming out which is good because i think those are those are the important days to hit mondays and wednesdays are the important days to hit content this just happens to also come out on a wednesday so it's a double feature wednesday to get you through the week i guess either way but because i've been basically off my computer because it has to be dismantled so it doesn't get drywall dust jammed into it and uh, placed somewhere else because the rooms I would use to use the internet, use the computer, are basically being under construction except for these brief moments like right now where no work is being done and I can kind of plug the ethernet cable into my monitor or into my tower and have a good time. So there's that. So we got that going on, and uh, but as I was waiting to do stuff, I worked basically just, you know, theorizing stuff, hanging out, scrolling the internet for a little bit, things like that, but when I got real bored, I set up that beautiful TV you see in the picture there, and I would play on my PlayStation 2, and uh, I've been playing As Your Dreams, mostly, a PlayStation 1 game by Konami, uh which I've played, i probably put about a thousand hours into it over the span of time, which is pretty good. It's a, it's a nice, lovely game where you're in a desert city with a huge tower that is the fuel of the city, basically how you can get money and trade and everything. Uh, you get And there's monsters in there that you can tame, and you can become a monster tamer, which goes to the tower, which is a dangerous business. And you go up there and... Kind of, it's, it's very like roguelite in a way where you go up. Your character always starts at level one. Uh, you can only bring five items into the tower. And you got your monsters that need collars so they stay on your side. You start off with one collar. You get one monster. You go up and it's like the tutorial levels. And it's, it's cool. You get like your copper sword and your like shield. And you go around and you're fighting monsters, turn-based, dungeon crawlery, very neat. And as you go back into back to the tower, to the town, the town is like kind of like dating sim slash like town building. It's very it's it's very it's a very well done game. Very fun. Uh I've kinda, you know. Uh, not just me, but like, I'm sure if you looked up a guide online, it'd be very easy to see, but I'm going to give you my guide on how to play. If you ever pick up As Your Dreams, which has not been ported to anything, you could probably steal it somewhere. Um, someone should just port it. Like, if I had it on my PlayStation 5, I would, I'd, I'd play the crap out of it, because the problem with the PS2 is that every once in a while, because it's like a million years old and dusty and an old piece of technology, sometimes it freezes. And if you freeze in the monster tower, basically you lose all your progress because it it has a strange like autosave feature where you, you like reload it after it freezes and then you it counts as you've died in the tower, so you lose all your items, which is like losing your important pieces that you need to basically 
progress in the game, which are a gold sword and a diamond shield. Uh, those are the two. Those are basically the two items you need. Uh, your monsters don't go away forever. They just come back. So you don't lose those, but all the items you collected, like the eggs, like monster eggs and wind crystals, things like that, will go away if you die in the monster tower. But the reason you want the diamond shield and the gold sword is, first of all, the diamond shield is the best shield anyways. Uh, just best stats flat out. Uh, but it doesn't rust. When you, you can also upgrade it with, uh, with blue sand. Blue sand gives it a plus one, so you just get plus one extra defense. So as you go and find more blue sands, you get more and more diamond shield activations. So you're better off doing that. And then the gold sword, same idea. It's not the strongest sword. It is one of the, it's the weakest sword, but it doesn't rust, which is very important because you can use the red sand on the good old sword. So when you find red sand, you just slap it on your gold sword, and that's good. Uh, wooden wands also don't rust, but you can't use the red sand on them. So rip that but yeah basically that's, those are the two things you need as you go through the monster tower and uh yeah you kind of grind and keep on going up and the higher levels you go they get harder and harder and you find different things and there's like you know some guys like hey man you got to find the thing that stole my pool cleaner he's on the 25th floor and you're like all right i guess we're going to the 25th floor to find this guy's pool cleaner or stuff like um, the guys like my oil pies on the 15th floor. You got to find me the oil pie. Then you find him the oil pot. You got to go to the 15th floor. And that's pretty crazy because most people don't make it past like first couple floors. In the in the lore of the game at least. But yeah. And then, you know, you get yourself a... It is a harem based game. You do get yourself an entire harem in this game. Uh, so that's good too. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. I've been playing some magic. Thunder Junction here and there, um, but yeah, it's been a it's been a pretty wild April. Uh, I have some games that I want to be playing uh, coming out today. Uh, Twisted Soul, Twisted Soul, Taken Soul, Taken Soul, a Vietnamese horror survival game thing. Uh, the next series I'm hoping to do. I probably said this last. Pod, well, maybe one of the podcasts. I don't actually know what I said last of the, any of the podcasts, but uh, Islands of the Caliph is what I should be playing eventually. It's been downloaded, it's been staring at me. I just haven't had the time to like sit down and actually like get some videos going. Uh, yeah, but I have played a couple of like one off, cool horror, whatever indie games. And uh, yeah, I'd like to shout out someone who commented on my. On my video and they were very excited that i was playing like indie dev games and stuff like that and it uh it's keeping they, they said uh they really enjoy someone supporting that and that it's kind of what i'm doing this for anyways i mean if i can play like a cool little game and like one person sees it and says yeah that's actually sweet i want to buy that uh, and i can help out like an indie game developer because i mean obviously the big game developers don't need my help they definitely i mean they don't really need much help they they pay for their advertisement like as sweet as uh rise of ronin is which it is absolutely sweet i mean team ninja doesn't need me to tell you that uh they got advertisements to tell you that but you should also yeah rise of ronin is really good so you should probably just play that too if you have the playstation 5 or whatever other platform it's on but yeah those are those are some things, and uh, on that note, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go through my wish list, and uh, I haven't done a wish list little look around to see if any like cool stuff coming up that I want. Uh, why is that? I don't know why Neo Two: The Complete Edition is in my wish list. I, I already have that. I own that game. One thing. Uh, oh, games I wanted like No Rest of the Wicked looks dope. Uh, well, that's something, that's not really an indie game, but it is a really sweet looking game that I, I'm, I'm excited to eventually play. It's on my wish list. It's cool just seeing a bunch of new stuff that, it's like basically new to me again. I have so many games on my wish list that I'm just going to keep on looking through and I'm going to see if there's anything uh, really, really popping out that I'm going to uh, 
like Crow Country, cool looking game. Definitely gonna get it. Uh, it's very oval based. It's an oval based Silent Hill like. That's what it looks like. Looks really cool. It's supposed to come out May 9th, so that that's coming up soon. Uh, you know, Tower of the Borderland looks ridiculous. Also cool, coming out in May, May twentieth. Uh, what what else we got here? There's there's lots of oh man, there's lots of games. Like the Urban Myth Disillusion Center, super cool thing that I want to play. A uh, Hollow Body, obviously we played the demo of that and that when it came out, and uh, that should be coming out soon enough. I'm I'm hyped for Hollow Body. Uh, I think I saw on t Twitter, uh, or I guess X, the artist formerly known as Twitter. I did see that they finished all the voiceover for it, so that's really, that's really cool. What the hell is this? I don't know, that's nonsense. It's on my wish list, though. Uh, yeah, there's, there's so many things. I, I can't wait for Gunmetal Gothic to come out, and I'm going to have to do a Brothers play with that because it looks ridiculous but fun. Uh, yeah, you can also, we also recorded a more Brothers play. You should definitely watch Brothers play uh, so I can convince my brothers to play more games. If if people watch, I can convince my brothers to play more games. If the people don't watch, I'll just fake the numbers by telling them I fake the numbers. Even though they can look at them, I still want to say, you know, they should just definitely play more games. Uh, maybe I can get... It'd be tough. It'd be very tough to get the whole band to play games, but, you know. Uh, which also reminds me, recently, we played a 420 show... Uh, April 20th. That was really, uh, it was really something. We played fun cover songs. What was that? We played, um, 10,000 Years by High on Fire. And we played Spiders by System of a Down. Those were two of the cover songs we played. We also played our new, our, our album, which if you haven't listened to our song Day, uh, by Teleportis on Spotify, you should definitely check out Day. On Spotify by Teleportus. Day, Spotify, Teleportus, Teleportus. I'll I'll put it in my, you know, I'll put it in the I'll put it in the little thing, little the scripto, scriptomatic at the bottom. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what I've been doing here. Uh, little, little first thoughts on Thunder Junction. I guess I could do. That's that's something I could do for this month. That's kind of fun. Uh, Thunder Junction is going to is is good. I mean, the set is like extremely powerful. Obviously, like I don't think anyone thought it wasn't going to be powerful. The breaking news and the whatever the other one thing is, uh, special guest fighting force, banded detos, whatever the hell the other second thing is, also really great. Having Mind Slaver on Arena, so much fun. Uh, is it good? I don't know. I I think it's pretty mediocre, but I mean. Getting a sweet win with Mind Slaver, oh, it feels, yeah, it feels good. Uh, Commandeer is a really cool one, and Notion Thief. Notion Thief is a card I'm so happy that's on Arena now, because there's nothing I love more than stealing our, all your opponent's cards. Like, Shieldred's fun and all, but, like, i rather them not lose the game. I'd rather just draw the cards instead. I think that's way better. Uh, so there's things like that, you know? Maybe I could make, like, a Notion Thief Narset deck. Just Notion Thief and set all day. Uh, but other than that, <clears throat> the actual, like, main set, pretty good. Like, plot seems more fun than I imagined. There's a lot of different, like, land strategies. The desert stuff is really cool. Copying all the deserts. Um, what I've been... What I found is my best deck is actually just a... Uh, key to the Vault deck with the cloak that makes a unblockable creature. And uh, just playing big dumb creatures like, well, whatever the uh, silly uh, silly lumberjack with their nice cow, and uh, the desert worm. The desert worm is insane. Uh, just stat wise, a six five flash, six five flash with trample, pretty crazy. That one that can also mana ramp you when it's in the graveyard, completely insane. That card, that card's nuts. Uh, cards that also way better than I was expecting. The Aven. The Aven that, like, plots your opponent's card off the stack, basically. Really good. Makes cards 
cost more. And what is it? Three steps ahead. Three steps ahead with the Aven is completely nuts. Having a counter spell or, or just a clone, and you can just tempo your opponent out so good. Tempo has been a really cool thing. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad there's like a lot more gameplay going around. It feels like feels like there's a lot more stuff happening, but definitely make your own luck with make your own luck with the big silly, uh, just big silly, crushy green creatures and blue cards is. That's where I'm at in standard. I've, I've been having a lot of fun and uh, honestly, pretty good win rate so far. But I'm uh, not not quite in the top echelons of Magic the Gathering yet. So that's that's kind of what is going on. What can we do for the future? Well, obviously, I haven't been doing I haven't been doing daily uploads. Maybe one. Maybe I'll get back to it once my house is painted and primed and and done and we reorganize everything uh but for now definitely look forward to magic monday's hump day horrors that's something we can that's something we could probably agree on uh i'll be go i'll be at anime north this year uh if you're in the area don't say hi to me uh you won't know what i look like unless uh unless you do know what i look like and then you can come say hi to me well uh, i'll be at anime north that'll be fun just for one day not gonna tell you what day but that'll be a nice surprise. Uh, I'm pretty sure Solar, the album from Teleports, is coming out. Is coming out. Sometime this, so like, soon. It's gotta be soon. It's gotta, I have to ask. Adam, I know you're listening to this. Adam, when you listen to this, send me a message on the YouTube saying, oh yeah, day comes out, or it's not day, but Solar comes out this day. How could you forget that? And just put it in the messages, and that'll be nice. And then people can read the comments, and it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a community. I'm harboring a community. I'm harnessing a community. I'm creating a community of people and gamers and musicians. All can hang out and listen to me ramble into this. I'm looking, looking on Spotify right now for a link. Uh, there we go. Uh, how do I? share copy album link yes i've copied the album link so that's going to be good so i can use that copied album link and i can put it underneath this video so people can listen to day by teleportis which i am the drummer of i do drum for that band and i i did record these drums and it was good it was very good it turned out very well i'm very happy and proud of it you should listen to it if you're listening to this from my and you're from the gaming aspect either magic or indie games or i guess that's really all i do is mostly indie games and magic or brothers play stuff but if you're here from that check it out just check out the song and you'd be like oh yeah that's good yeah give it thumbs up monthly lessons very important like comment subscribe you know the whole things like this comment if you've if you've come this far to this video just like it just like this video and say, wow, I can't believe I've listened to this much. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of the new picture. The new picture I have for the post, the available post podcast. That would be cool. It'd be cool to let me know what you think of this beautiful TV. That's the CRT TV I've been playing my PlayStation 2 on, by the way. Uh, in fact, on that little stool as well, uh, there's a second little drum stool where I have the PS2. And then there's like an outlet with a bad couch, and it's 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 a whole thing. It's a nice little setup. It's what it's my makeshift little setup for what I could do for how I could do it. Uh, but I'm gonna probably leave this podcast there. I mean, you know, not every podcast has to be a banger. Forty minutes of me rambling, because uh, I got curry on the stove, a beautiful chicken curry, and uh, I have some rice cooked. And I think I'm gonna eat some rice, have some curry. Maybe I'm gonna play some Islands of the Cliff before my wife gets home from work who knows uh the time keeps moving forward and the youtube videos you should go back and watch all my youtube videos yeah is that good good uh i'll see you in june maybe i'll do a very special june episode uh because june is my birth month is my wife's birth month both of us together are birthed in the same month uh, two days apart. So maybe we'll do a beautiful little Gemini cast. 
where she'll tell you all about star signs, and I will also tell you all about star signs. That's not going to happen. See you in the next one.